Uh, what do you call this place? Uh, Oyster Bay. Oyster Bay planting fields. And right now, just sitting here, sitting on my little, little mat, just enjoying my minute, minute of freedom. Everybody, the kids are over there. They're over there, that way. And I'm here, just sitting here, chilling. Painting my hornet. So, I'm gonna keep painting this thing and talk a little bit. So, I haven't done a video in a while. It's been a long time since I did the last video. Last time I did a video, um, it was pretty much we driving around um, East Elmhurst and uh, uh, you know, uh, East Elm, uh, Elmhurst Hospital, sorry. And uh, what happened was like uh, just pretty much there was no activity there, and now we hear that things are dying down, and that's great. And but the thing is, like they just want to keep on raising the bar, keep on raising more things for us to do. And so what happens is like you know we are constantly being told one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Before it was flatten the curve, now it's like um, oh wait for a vaccination and all that. It's going to take eight. Months, so they're looking at like keeping us locked up for what, 18 months. But you know, I, I still have an essential job and I go to it and I work at it. But for the most part, though, it's um, it's one of those things where I, I took some time off um, just to be able to get home and do some things with the family. And these are one of those things I wanted to do, just be able to you know make some cool creatures and stuff. <sighs> this way, and I put it down and paint it. And so this is um one of the, the Asian hornets, the ones that are. This is my my take on it, as you can see. It looks just like it. I had to do like you know references, which is not that hard because it's all over the place. So I'm just gonna paint this sucker. So I'm using red. I'm using orange and black, orange and black ink because that's what they say it's supposed to be anyway. So orange and black ink. It's actually really nice today. We're out on the outside, and I'm here in the planting fields. And um, I've been listening to a lot of different videos, and um, one of them was uh, Space Busters was one of those that it says about like, um, it had this really cool video and talked about like how there are so many things that we have in our life that help us, you know? We have many things to help us. Let me see if I can put this a little higher so you can see a little bit further away. Uh, here. Uh, right there. No, I can't. I just don't believe like that. So right in the grass. Painting this on it. So pretty much facing that way. So one of the things they talked about was just about how how the aspect of it's like, you know, um, um, see there's things in our body that we need, um, that we heal from. We talked about how, how the human body is capable of doing great, wonderful things. You know, we always talk about how the doctors say, like, oh, this person only has six months to live, and then after that, the person's a miraculous, miraculous full recovery. And only their full recovery, they're, like, completely recovered. There's, like, there's not a trace or a drop or whatever it was that was they were sick with. And what ends up happening is that they just, um... Um, I think it can be better, and so they're not sure exactly what to do. So this 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 video um, was called um, Corona Corona Debunked by Biochemistry. If you get a chance to look at, it. I'll see if I can put it on the link, which I might not do, but I hope like I will do it. Because sometimes I forget to do it. For the most part, though, here's this. I'm gonna go in my stomach. Wear my cool blender shirt. Blender. So I'm gonna put a chill here with a giant bug. Make it further back so you can see it better. Or make it tilt up, I guess. Alright, so here we go. So, I'm just um, pretty much painting this thing. I was looking at some references and stuff. And, um, so, you know, we were talking about this, the giant hornet coming to kill all the bees, you know. That was a pretty, pretty big creature. I was like, you know what, I gotta make one of those. And so, I just finished making a couple things. But, but um, back to what I was saying before about the, um, uh, the thing with regards to, um, with regards to the, uh, it says that we have chemicals in our body. There's things like potassium. Potassium is one. There's uh, salts, different salts that we can take. There's different vitamins. And it's like, the animals intrinsically know exactly how to heal themselves. They watch an animal. They know how to do it. They know how to fix themselves. You know, if they have to eat grass and stuff to make them throw up. Or they got to do some different things for them to, like, to get sick so they can get better. The thing is, like, animals know what to do. They know how to deal with and, you know, make themselves better because they're in different tune with God. You know, us humans, we're just out of tune. Ever since the, the fall, Adam and Eve, we've all been out of tune. You know, you know, one of the things that's been keeping us um, sane in all this is making these creatures too. Just making creatures and doing stuff and being producers and not consumers. You know, my family and I, we're, we're all about making things. We're all about creating stuff, you know? And, I, and I, I, we kind of really highly emphasize that. We said, don't be a consumer, be a producer, be a maker. Make stuff. Make stuff. As much as you can, make stuff, you know? Yes, we eat pizza. Yes, we love pizza. But for the most part, though, it's one of those things where, you know, if we had opportunity to make pizza, we'd make the pizza, you know? But for the most part, though, what we do is that we like to make stuff. Kids like to make things, like writing stories. I like to make stuff, like make creatures. Ever since I learned about this masking tape thing, thank you again, Marco Makes. Marco's Makes. A shout out to you. 
for um, you know for showing me about how to do this. Not so much showing me how to do this, but the idea of using masking tape as armature. I know I say this every single time because this has like been really cool. I've been able to bless a lot of people with these things, you know, and these creatures and stuff. This one I'm keeping for myself because you know I don't know if anybody wants to have an Asian, you know, an Asian hornet. And so there's a couple things I made too, but for the most part though it's like you know it's good to be makers instead of takers. I always say that be a maker not a taker. Produce, produce, produce. It's like the, the epitome of work. When you go out to work, you change the world, you make the world better. You know? And so one of the cool things is like this, you know, just being able to be here and to do this is that, you know, um, let's get some sunlight. It's good to get some sunlight, y'all. Get some sunlight. Painted my hornet. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over so I can get it just fine-tuned. I'm running out of black ink, so I'm going to have to get I, I just paint, I paint straight acrylic. Sometimes I water it down, but for the most part, though, I just paint straight acrylic. I try not to do too much on watering it down because it's like it holds better to the masking tape. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do more of a business with this, you know, because it's like this, my friend, is really, really a cool creature. You know, I made, a, I made a bee for my boss at work, uh, a queen bee, and she really liked it. She was like, oh my goodness. I made for my co-manager, co my co-boss. Um, I made him a, a blue crab, which was red. I painted him red, but it was actually the form of a blue crab. But he was totally blown up by that. I was really excited just to make that. That was so much fun for me just to do that. And it was like, I just enjoyed the whole aspect of making these creatures. And I made a bunch for a bunch of people at my job. And they just absolutely just just love it. And, and I thought, you know what, maybe other people might like it too. So I thought maybe I should just do this as a business or something. Just get more business to go to it. So just recently I made like a, a Wolverine. And um, I have him on my Instagram if you want to go see him. My Instagram is Dino Candidates. You can find me in on Dino Candidates. That's my Instagram page, you know. Dino, D-I-N-O, Candidates, like, and my name is Greg, Greg Valentine. That's me. You can find me when you see my pictures. You'll know. So for the most part, though, um, we'll be trying to warn people. You know, I have this thing where it's like I start talking to people, and it's like I have people on my list, and I start thinking, should I send stuff to them? Should I send stuff to them? Should I, you know, you start thinking all kinds of things. Should I, should I, should I, should I? Should I? And then so what happens is like you, I always, my, my, it's like when you share the gospel, you just share it and whatever the people respond to, that's their response. But at least you got a chance to share it. It's kind of like that thing about like, you know, if you, if you go to a, a baseball game or a basketball game and you don't make a shot or you're in a game and you don't take a shot, that means you miss it 100%. But if, for example, you, you don't take the shot, I see you don't take a shot. If you do take a shot, you could, you could miss. You have a 50-50 chance. You might get it, you might not get it. But if you don't take the shot, you get a 100% chance that you won't make it at all. So that's kind of the things there, you know. You won't be able to make it because if you do, if you, if you, don't, if you don't even take the shot, you won't make it. So it's always better to at least try. You know, if you don't try, you won't make it. You won't make it at 100%. But if you do try, if you do try, if you do try to make it, you know, you do try and do something. You know, um, at least if you fail, you know, at least you tried, you know. But but if you don't even try, you don't even know if you will have the possibility of failing. So sometimes you just got to try. Now, I'm not talking about, like, you know, stuff that will mess you up the first time you try it. Like, you know, you make sure if you go skydiving, you have all your, your stuff together first, you know. You make sure you get it all organized first before you go skydiving because you know, skydiving is kind of a, you know, all or nothing kind of thing. You're going to do it and you're going to live or you're not going to do it. You know, you may not do it. You may just, you know. So I'm here. Stop. Stop it. Hi, this is this is my this is Amy. And then here's a uh, Chloe. Back over here's everybody. Huh? Yes, mm. ah, goodness. Mm. Alright, so so they're pretty much I'm um, done with their tree climbing over here, so they're gonna come back and uh, talk to me some too. Really? Yeah. You guys are recording, it's recording, it's live, the whole world can see you. They can't see me. I well, can hear you. you can anyway, hear so what I'm doing to them. Oh, where's that other water? What? Chloe said she brought, oh, there's more. That's my hottie wife right there. Hi. Amy. Hi. And so we're in this big, open, open park. It's so nice. So nice, you know? And it's like, it's so nice just to be able to be here, to be able to paint, and to paint this giant Asian hornet. I like it. I like it a lot. It's actually quite nice. It's a nice feeling. There's my wife right there, you know, in the picture. Hey. Yeah, for a little bit, but we have to get going soon. 
We're going to have to go. It's going to be closing the park soon. Five more minutes. Until they close the park? I wanted to go down that, that lilac call. Okay. okay. You want to go to that little, little, little thingy? The trellis call thing with the lilac. You know, there was, um, there's, there's many things. Um, one of the things people talk about is like, you know, there's this thing where they're forcing us to wear the mask. Like after everything is kind of done, it's really kind of done and done. So they're forcing people to wear masks and stuff because, you know, people, they, you know, there's a thing where they, they keep telling us all these things for us to do, you know. And so people do it because they want to be, want to be obedient to law, you know. And so one of the things that we keep finding out is that there is, um, the, the laws are not, they're not laws, but the, the, the people in charge are not doing what they're supposed to do. They're like kind of like just kind of shooting from the hip and they're shooting all kind of political stuff. They're not really, you know, for example, they had a thing with Cuomo the other day and they realized how, how much trouble. Wow. Wow, cool. Well, this, this one's not real. This is a fake one. So, you know, this one I could keep with me and not have to, but it's like, I don't know. I want to see what that looked like if you get a chance to, um, um, I'll, I'll follow you. Follow my, follow my link on the page and I'll, I'll um, uh, what do you call it? I will, um, I will uh, follow you. That's the best subscribe. That's how it works. So, um, yeah, I'll follow you as well. My thing is, like, I'm just here making this thing here. This isn't, this isn't real, but it looks real, right? I mean, when you hold it to the camera like this, it looks like, well, sort of, if I paint it better. But it looks like, you know, the, the pattern and stuff. My favorite part of this was actually putting this pattern right here together was when I was making it in the tape. It's like I had to do a crisscross. And if you look at it really carefully, you can see the crisscross of it. There's, a, like, a straight on this side. But then it goes over and it crosses, you know? So I do this, like, little crisscross thing. And that was fun because I was like, you know what? It makes it so nice. It makes it nice and beautiful. So let me just go ahead and put this here. I enjoy this stuff. So anyway, what I was saying before was um, we had the laws where they were supposed to, the whole law was supposed to protect the elderly, right? So you have, have a thing in nursing homes. In nursing homes, they were sending people who were, quote, unquote, sick back with the COVID back into the hospital. And so what happened was, like, when they did that, um, the people got messed up, you know? So it's like, you know, instead of it, like, they messed up and those got sick. But, you know, we were talking before, I said about how, the, you know, the exosomes. You have your exosomes, and you have your chromosomes, and you have your different ribosomes and things like that. But for the most part, though, an exosome is something where, you know, it, it helps your cell. It helps your cell keep your cell from, from being ex destroyed, you know, and it's something that all of our bodies make. Somebody, somebody mentioned about, like, you know, how there's no... Ah, goodness, there's so many things. If you get a chance to just look at that video, there's a video called um, um, Chromosome Debunked by Biochemistry, and it's by Space by Space, um, Space Busters. These guys are really good. They did a real good video. If you get a chance to watch it, definitely watch it because I watched it and I'm gonna watch it again later on the, on the drive home or something and listen to it because they talked about a lot of stuff, not just about the thing, but about how to get your immune system really high. How to boost it up because your immune system is what keeps you alive by the grace of God, you know? God-given God -given immune system. A God-given immune system is given to keep us from, from dying by, you know, by foreign agents like, you know, um, like bacterias and funguses that get out of control, you know, because we, we need bacteria and funguses. We need these, these germs and stuff like that. Because what happens is that our, we have a system inside of us, they call it a microbiome, a microbiome, and we have a whole bunch of things that are alive inside of us, you know? And if we kill everything off, what happens? You become, you become sick. It's like the thing with um, the MRSA virus thing where it gets to the point where there's no, there is no um, antibiotics that can kill any of the, 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 the bacteria's resistance to antibiotics, you know? It actually does damage because what are you going to do at that point? It's like the person's just going to have, you know, that, that thing where you just, your whole system shuts you down. Um, what do you call it? Cytokine? Cytokine storm? You have that thing where it's like your whole body shuts down. You can't be able to fight anymore. But the thing is, if you kept your body in balance, you know, you see that we have cancer cells inside of us. We got cancer cells that are inside of us that are inactivated and it takes something external to activate us. So we have the system, we have the struggle inside of us. You know, the Bible talks about. It's not what goes into a person that defiles a man, but what comes out of a person, you know? And it's not talking about, like, you know, um, sicknesses and stuff like that. It's talking about, like, you know, the stuff that we say and stuff that we do on our, on our hearts and our intentions, you know? Constantly, you know, we have a lot of stuff inside of us that needs to be, you know, taken out and worked through. But for the most part, though, it's one of those things where, okay, you know... Okay, um, I'm going to take off my shoes. Take off your shoes? Again. Again. All right, so then what happens is, like, you're going to have um, this thing where... Um, what's that word? Um... I lose my train of thought. You need, you need to have it because you have too much bacteria. Your bacteria is too much. You have to have the only way to, to fight bacteria. It's like, it's a good bacteria to fight the bad bacteria, you know? So when you have like antibiotics and you kill every antibiotics, anti-life, you know, what happens is that it causes the, it causes the, um, the, um, the body to suffer. You know, but when you have this like a, a situation where it's like, I'm, I'm recording live by the way, so okay. it's like, uh,
Okay. So um, um, anything like that. So you need to have the probiotics to make sure that the body is balanced as well because you know you have stuff inside you that's good for you that keeps you in check so we're not talking about like wiping out things like for example our cancer cell we have cancers inside of us our cancer cells and what happens is like it, they, they get activated by stress trauma by different things like that and so what ends up happening is that um um we uh they say we we have this doctor her name is dr lorraine day dr lorraine day and she had a book called cancer doesn't scare me anymore and in her, her story, cancer doesn't scare anymore. What it was, she talked about how she had breast cancer, and she showed how she had pictures of she had breast cancer, and how she was able to, to heal herself with that surgery, and chemotherapy, and radiation. And she showed how she boosted her immune system and caused her immune system and got rid of the toxins that were in the way. The toxins that were in the way. And what they did was that um, able to she was able to fix herself, you know. And then she she um, they call her a quack, but she's cancer free. So I don't know what kind of a quack gets cancer free, and people call her names. And I guess it's because uh, you're not doing the conventional Rockefeller medicine, you know. So anyway, so long story short, one of the things is that um you have it where um you have it where my um um I was just thinking along the lines of like my mom. My mom had ovarian cancer, and she died from it. And but she didn't die from that. I think she died from the, the chemotherapy and the radiation. No, chemotherapy and the surgery that they made her do. And it was like you know. Um, we're gonna have to go. They're gonna close the park. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished with this buggy. You see this? It's so nice. I just have to finish more, a couple more things, a couple more legs, and then, you know, a couple more legs, a couple more things. But for the most part, that much needs to be a little bit too easy. All right. So the, 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 the little bit here. Oh, I made a couple things. So here's my terror bird. Here's my terror bird. All right, and that's my my daughter approaching. And here we are in this nice place. So pretty much how I figure we're gonna close up soon. So I'm gonna call. I'm end the video here. Thank you for watching. But I'm, I'm gonna be done with this. You can see that we completed on my Instagram page. Instagram uh, is um, our Dino Candidates. Dino D I N O Candidates, like present candidates. Dino Candidates. That's me, Greg Valentine. So find me there. You'll see the rest of us. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good day. God bless. All right, bye. Wish I could stop the video. Yep, I wanna stop.